Welcome, Welcome to the Pew, to the Pew. <laughs> where we are on a roll, uh, a rest roll, a rest roll, <laughs> um, and um, we have uh, another another club kid was arrested the other day. Um, what was his name again? Astro Earl. Oh, that's right, Astro Earl. How could you forget? Was arrested. Well, because I don't, you know, I don't like to gossip. <laughs> um, but he was uh, arrested for um, uh, for graffiti, tagging graffiti. Where was he arrested? I don't know. Uh, was he arrested in New York or in Philadelphia? Because wasn't he in Philadelphia recently? I think or, it was. I, I saw him I think posting on social media that he was leaving New York and going to Philly. And I don't know if that meant for well, the night or forever. Right. <laughs> he, but he also seems to be in New York and going to Florida, and living in New York and going to Portland, you know, whatever. Um, but it, yeah, I he's always leaving, coming and going. He wasn't, uh, I don't think, arrested in New York. It was some, and can you imagine, first of all, being arrested, well, being arrested is awful, but being arrested outside of New York, being a New Yorker and being arrested outside of New York, because we're kind of very pampered here. And very, and the police, Are they? Are, do they pamper you? No, New, York, New Yorkers are very pampered. We are very pampered uh, in general. Um, but the police here, relatively speaking, are more tolerant in a lot of ways and um, more... Uh, um, what sort I'm looking for, not pandering, but more um, where they work for the people, you know, um, whereas in other cities, it's kind of the other way around. Like when I was arrested in, in Texas, I mean, forget it. It's like Macon County Jail, you know, and you see like an outlaw parties. I know it's changed a lot since 9-11, but if you see like the outlaw party video, you see the cops kind of like laughing and joking with the drag queens and posing with Clara the Chicken. You would not see that in Texas. And um, I have, a, I can only imagine what it would be like for somebody like Astro to be arrested outside of New York. You know, I mean, it's not, and it's 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 for for any kind of weird, sexually ambiguous person, it's you know got to be very frightening. Right. Uh, I guess there was, or there isn't, a special jail cell for someone like Astro. <laughs> in, outside of male, New York. female Astro. <laughs> um, what was he tagging? I, you know, some cute boy's ass. I don't know. Um, <laughs> See, that's the, the the last thing that I would think that Astro would be. Oh no, 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 no! Why would you think that? That's the first thing you because of all graffiti, the cute, the cute graffiti artist. Yes, I would think that he'd be arrested for like <laughs> oh, arrested for child molestation. Or, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, but he associates or with for other, disorderly conduct. You know, because he sometimes when he gets or really disorderly drunk, disorderly child busting or. Uh, what else? Like public drunkenness. Public drunkenness. I don't. I think that's public a crime. drunken disorderly molesting. Or for being in a park, you know, after hours. I could see that too. In a park. <laughs> yeah, I, and probably in he was, you know, someplace like that with a bunch of young people. Or for like smashing a window in a rage or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god! Do you remember it? the time he came chasing me at, at Bellevue <laughs> no, at the hospital for the restaurant? Um, because I remember. I, I wore, oh my god. <laughs> But I I love Astro, yeah, <laughs> as you do too. <laughs> we love it up. Big girl. Um, he's actually mad at us, you know. Why? He's not mad at me. Yeah, he is. No, he isn't. Oh, yes, he is. No, I I just saw him like two or three weeks ago. He came over to my house and cut well, my hair. Yeah, and he he also has been to outrage, but he is mad at both of us. I mean, he was nice to me at outrage. Um, but he had other people, many people have come to me and said that he's upset because of something we said about him on the pew. Oh, on the show. Um, what did we say about him last time? I don't know. What did we say? Um, oh, uh, he, oh, 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 it was, and we were kind of joking that he was, um, not welcome at Outridge anymore, uh, which he is of course, but he got the impression after watching the show that he was 86. Don't you remember? And there was that the whole big thing. Well, how many people are actually 86 from our You know, range? I never, I like mean, besides Jerry Visco, she's even not no, okay. Right. Um, but uh, we did say something to the effect or the of the guy that punched uh, Tyler Stone, he's not even 86. Oh, okay, <laughs> but we said something to the effect of that he, that he was drunk and. Uh, you know, drunk and disorderly. Yeah, <laughs> and um, and he was offended by it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Well, he came. You know, over, and it's funny. Because, oh well, how do you know? he came over to my house uh, maybe three or four weeks ago to cut my hair, and uh, I thought he did a very nice he job. He let him close to you with a pair of things. Yes. He did. I told you when you walked in, your hair did. You know, nice. he he does. He cuts hair very well. I mean, He's I, very good at I would up. appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> I would appreciate it if he didn't like get super drunk when he does it, but uh, well, obviously, it doesn't no, affect his. Uh, it does uh, affect it somewhat, but like I, I mean. No, because ever since it probably no, affects because you I just breathe, this haircut breathe. I just this Ooh. haircut I just had yesterday by oh. Nino, somebody else who cuts my hair. Uh, this was the, this was an Astro Earl style, but then it kind of grew out, and I had to have it touched up. But um, you know, when he gets really drunk, he'll oh. miss he'll miss like pieces <laughs> of hair, you know. So mm -hmm. there might be like a little hair, stray hair here and there that he uh -huh. forgot to cut. He, when he gets really drunk, he behaves um, without. He he acts without thinking, and so I could see him just for no apparent reason, just you know, clipping off that curl and just for, to for you to be funny or to, you know, for no reason when he well, gets drunk. That's fine because usually when I, I let him cut my hair, I just tell him just do whatever you yeah. want because I want something different, and it's not that easy finding stylists that have the um, the wow. balls to just do whatever they want because yeah. they're always afraid that the customer is going to get mad at them. So he's, you know, he's not that kind of person. Like, no. if you get mad, you know, <laughs> he's like, I was you. not afraid of them. <laughs> you know, in a, in a way, it, it must be very, the, the freedom to live like that must be very, um, uh, liberating. Liberating, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, he's liberated. <laughs> he's a liberated woman. <laughs> we'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Yet again, we look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, we just found out <laughs> that we're talking we, about the we same been Mike. Jilted. <laughs> We've been dating the same man. <laughs> okay, Michael Harmon <laughs> apparently has sent us both brilliant pieces of artwork. Um, he sent me this one, and uh, Mike in Albuquerque is Mike Michael Harmon, uh, the artist uh, who sent this. So it's the same artist um, who sent. Who's are, you, been... are you sure you're pronouncing his name right? H A R M A N N. Okay, that's his art artist name. His um, that's his artist name. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.